Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media in association with Well Ice Therapy and Barclay Carter Racing. Jack Carroll, we're in a park in Chorley on Tuesday night, having just done a 5k. Well, you have, I haven't. Uh, what a great turnout, mate. You know what? We only put this together on Thursday. Uh, one of my good friends, Reese, has a running club. Uh, it's only a new running club, last couple of months, getting a few people down. And it's something we come up with together um, ahead of the next fight to get the community out. The weather's picked up a little bit, so we thought, you know what? We're going to make some of it. Match room have kindly gifted hundreds of T-shirts to everybody, so we've had a laugh. It's been good. See what? There are hundreds of people here, mate. You know what? I was surprised. We we organised it Thursday. Seen the weather was all right. That always helps. Um, thought we'd get 30, 50, a few more. I think we was at a couple closer of to 300 there. Yeah, there was there was a few there. You know what? Everyone give it the best, and we stayed together as a team, and it was fun. It was good. Well, listen, lots of support for you. You've got a big fight coming up, of course, against Regis Prograve. We spoke to you a couple of weeks ago about that. Um, I mean, the, the support for this fight has been uh, really positive, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, very grateful for it. I have a great support system, um, a lot of support. So it's nice. It's a good feeling. And I think it's not, a, for me, it's not giving back, but it's little things like this that interacts people, gets people engaged, people coming out. Probably they might not have come out on a Tuesday evening run, but we got a few out tonight that might not have done that. So I think... Just in that, we're winning along. Well, I'll tell you what, before we talk about boxing, look behind you. There's a big, like, pick. where's this going in your house? You know I've not a clue. I've been kindly gifted off Vision Matters. We've just finished the 5K run and he's brought it down. He's kindly gifted it. He's shot off dead quick. I've got a fine room in the car for it and get it back. But yeah, Your but missus is like, that's not going in my bedroom. Yeah, it, that's <laughs> it. I don't, I don't know where it's going to go, but yeah. Always great. It's not bad, is it? It's not so, bad. You know what? Look at it. It's, uh, it's not your typical canvas. That just goes to show how well supported you are and the people of Chorley, they really buy into you know, supporting their own, don't they? Yeah, it's nice. And again, I can't reiterate enough, but very grateful for the support. Uh, we had a lot of local boxing gyms down. Dave's gym, Jennings gym, all the local gyms, Chorley Boxing Club. And we had football clubs come down tonight, so everybody's taking part and that's what it's about. Well, I'll tell you what, Cameron Vong, he turns up. What did he look like, mate? You know what? I called him out at the start for the warm-up. He's having it all day. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. He lives a mile from here. Turn up late. He's new to, he lives a mile from here. He turned up late and we're up the hill and he catches up saying, I've just had to sprint to catch you. Disappointed in Cameron. will be having words with him tomorrow. Well, listen, let's quickly talk about the uh, the fight because I know you want to go home and we're stood in the park and there's no one here now. <laughs> um, listen, it's a great fight. Um, world title wasn't available. You want it to stay busy. It's a great, great fight. Yeah, it's a great fight and I didn't want to fight uh, if it wasn't world title. That wasn't meaningful to me. Uh, I was scheduled to fight Regis before. He's a two-time world champion, and it's a big fight, a fight that the fans are familiar with. Uh, there could have been other fights out there, but I don't think they got me up for it as much as this one does. And it's really nice to see you with a big smile on your face because we obviously saw you when you weren't boxing that previous time. You obviously got the Taylor thing out of the way. Um, you just seem so much happier and, and looking forward to the boxing now. Yeah, you know what? You can't predict what the future holds, but I've stayed in the gym. I've stayed disciplined. I've got a good support system, a good training team, um, and I've had the activity now. So I think that's been a thing that's been lacking in my career from the last couple of years. So I'm just making the most of every day, every situation that I'm in and, and building, and I'm looking forward to this fight. We touched on it a couple of weeks back when we were at the Carp Arena. 24,000, it's a massive arena. It's beautiful there, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? There's some great fights been added to the undercard. Uh, I'm looking forward to fighting Regis, and I think we'll have a good, good night that night. Well, listen... Not going to keep you any longer. Got one more question, which your missus has said. When's she getting on your move? We're going on one. Let me get this fight done. <laughs> Jack, it's been great tonight. It's great to see all the Chorley out looking after you and, and supporting you. And we hope that uh, that night is uh, is going to be a magical one for you. No, thank you very much for coming down. I appreciate that.